feeling that a lot of this is just going to be settling for what's just going to be the best I can do. Again, you're in my cabinet right now. Isn't that fun? What up, internet? Welcome to my apartment. And we're in a different part of my apartment today. That's where I was last time. That's fun. And because today we're in my kitchen. Um, that's why you're in my cabinet. Because we're cooking something. Because, you know, the temperature outside is really nice. I don't... Alexa, what's the temperature outside? It's 71 degrees Fahrenheit. I live in Florida, so this is very beautiful to me. I wanted soup. I want to make soup, and I'm going to go to my lovely little recipes, and I'm gonna make some broccoli cheddar soup that I veganized, so it's a, my own recipe, which is why it's terrible to try to follow. There's barely any measurements and there's no instructions so I just gotta um I gotta I gotta trust myself on this one um and also I had to sub some stuff because it's 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 like that sometimes I'm gonna go through those ingredients with you I forgot something okay so based on the recipe I left for myself we're gonna need Broccoli. I chose frozen because I already had it. We're gonna need carrots. I chose already cut because I'm lazy. It's my day off and I'm lazy and I don't want to sit there and shred carrots because last time I did that I cut my finger open. So we're going to need half an onion. This is a yellow onion. I'm gonna probably use the whole thing because I don't care what this person that made this recipe says. I do what I want. Ooh. We're gonna need a tablespoon of minced garlic, a half a cup of nutritional yeast, which is what I don't have. I tried to go to the store and find some, and the only one they had were like this size, and it was nine dollars. And I'm not paying that for nutritional yeast. So I googled it. They said you can use Parmesan conveniently. I already. Never mind, I had some vegan parmesan, but it's expired, so we're not doing that. So never mind. Smoked paprika, turmeric, cumin, 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 salt and pepper. Now I don't know why the ding dong that made this recipe did this, but they said I need four cups of veggie broth, but from a carton, but also I need a tablespoon of veggie bouillon. So I guess I'm just making a stronger veggie base. A cup of cashews that I have to boil with water and soy sauce is what my notes say. Um, and then I have to blend them and make like a cashew cream sauce to help thicken it up and make it more creamy. Um, let's see, there was a teaspoon of parsley. I didn't feel like buying the whole thing of parsley just to have a teaspoon of it, so whatever. A doo -doo, two cups of almond milk it says but I got oat milk this time because it was on sale and I figured it'll be a little bit creamier so we're gonna try that and vegan cheddar and then you know I got oil to actually cook things in I got a baguette for the side for serving because yum who doesn't love bread um that's the only things i wrote on this card for myself to go by i didn't say what to do first i didn't say how long i'm pretty sure i ended up blending part of it too to make it thicker at the end of it last time didn't include that so that's that's gonna be fun let's do that i guess we should start with the cashews Let's do it. I'll never do that again. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my cashews ready because I didn't soak them overnight like you should. So I'm going to boil them and then I'm going to let them boil for a couple minutes, maybe like three minutes. I don't know. Google it. 
Then I'm going to put a top on it and I'll just let it sit while I do everything else. And by the time I'm ready to blend it, it'll be not boiling hot. So I have the possibility of burning myself. So it says half a cup of that. I'm going to just put in, I don't know, a cup and a half of water. That sounds like a good amount. Don't ask me, I don't actually know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to put in some soy sauce because that's what I said I did. And I trust myself. I don't have soy sauce, I have coconut aminos, so. Sure. How did I do this? I don't know, I didn't say how much I'm supposed to put in. So. That looks fine. And then I'm going to boil this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just prep my spices and everything, just so I get it out of the way. So one teaspoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon turmeric, turm turmeric, 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 whatever you freaking call it, a pinch of cumin, 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 whatever, salt and pepper to taste. We'll adjust that later on too. Uh, instead of parsley, since I didn't bother getting parsley, I'm just gonna throw in some tarragon because it's green and that, I don't know, because I do what I want. So that's all the spices mixed together for now until we decide if we want to add more later on. All right, so now we're gonna cut this onion Crying. Oh my god, I'm crying so much. Well, now that we're crying from chopping onions and looking darn cute while doing it, uh, it's time to actually like cook some stuff. The cashews are soaking. They'll soak for the duration of the rest of this until they're ready to be blended. And, um, uh, yeah, okay, so let's actually cook some stuff. Alrighty, so we have a pan with oil in it heating up and then we're gonna add our onions and let those brown a little bit and then part way through there we're going to add the garlic so the garlic doesn't burn while the onions are cooking because I'm a professional. Alright, well the onions are cooking. I put you in a different cabinet. So we could uh, start the broth base. Okay, so the recipe says four cups of veggie broth from a carton, which is a whole 32 ounce container. A tablespoon of veggie bouillon. I'm adding the garlic to the onions now. Adding our broccoli. I didn't specify how much broccoli and how much carrots to add, so I'm just doing as I please. So I'm gonna add some carrots now. Yeah, sure, okay, that works. Two cups of whatever milk you decide you want. I don't run your life, you don't run my life. And that's how we remain friends. All right, I'm adding my onion and garlic mixture into that now as well. I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then I'm going to add the seasoning. I should puree the cashews now, but we'll see if I decide to do that or how I'm gonna do that. I only have that immersion blender. I don't know if it works well and my other blender sucks. So we'll see if that even makes it into this. We'll find out. All right, so it was boiling a bit. I added the spices. I thought I was recording when I did that, but I wasn't. But you get the gist, I added the spices. It made the color look very beautiful, like broccoli cheddar soup. And so I'm going to just cover this, let it cook the veggies and everything. I'm gonna make that cream sauce in the meantime. So 
let's um, figure out how we're gonna do that. There's also cat hair on my hand, so yay. Alrighty, so we're gonna test out this immersion blender for the first time ever in my life. Never used one, should have um, should have uh, Googled that. Whoa. Uh, well, that's just splashing everywhere. I used my normal blender. Ignore the mess in the background. Whatever, it worked. We got a, a creamy sauce that we're gonna put in the soup now. So we're gonna put that cashew cream stuff in here. Now, I think what I did last time too is I separated some of this and blended it again because I don't know how to not do things without being extra, so. Need some baby food, yum! Broccoli cheddar baby food, yum. Now, I didn't tell myself how much cheese to put in. I just said cheese, so we're gonna slowly mix in a little bit at a time until I decide that's enough. And because I make the recipe, I call the shots. Smells like broccoli cheddar soup. Nope. Well, I accidentally put in a whole bag of cheese. All right, so now we're going to taste test and see what else we might need to add to it. Like salt or pepper, you know, things like that, so. Okay, okay. So it needs more salt and probably a little bit more pepper, but other than that, it's pretty good. We're good. Tastes like broccoli cheddar soup. Toast up some bread and eat my soup because that's the point of making it. Ugh. Okay, so that's that's it. I'm gonna eat my soup and I'm gonna enjoy this soup and I'm gonna give some to my mom and I save some for my friends. And I think it turned out pretty darn good. And if you do make it, I do recommend putting in that half cup of nutritional yeast because it just really helps with the flavor. I didn't notice anything for subbing out the um, parsley for tarragon. Can't tell at all. Not too bad for you, I would think. And ultimately, it doesn't take that long to make. It takes a ton longer when you're recording every bit of it. It's really not that bad. Sorry, I didn't have any specifics on like, oh, let this cook for this much. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this soup. Um, I do love cooking. So I think a big part of me on this channel is going to be cooking because I just, cooking's so fun, especially trying to make something out of something it's not. Like, I fully veganized this broccoli cheddar soup, but I definitely want to get back to eating majority vegan. So I'm going to hold myself accountable and just start cooking more vegan meals at home. But for real, if you end up using this recipe, let me know. I'm not a popular YouTuber. I'm not a popular food YouTuber. But if you happen to come across this because you wanted some broccoli cheddar soup, let me know if you make it. I think that's it. Is that all I want to say? I think that's all I want to say now. Subscribe if you want. Turn on notifications if you want. Do all of that stuff. Or don't. Like I said, I'm not here for you. I'm here for me. You want to meet my cat? Or one of my cats? You want to meet one of my cats? Here's one of my cats. Yeah, okay. Bye. Ugh, trying to kill me. My eyebrows look crazy. Are you gonna let me walk around like this? Turmeric, 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 turmeric. I feel like that's gonna happen a lot. Symbol's still going strong. We love a determined girl. We love it. Stop.
stop looking at yourself. No, oh, look at that. I'm just gonna keep doing this part over and over again. I looked a mess because tears and mascara. I got, oh, there was still water on that. It splashed me in the face. I think, I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just dripping all over my hand. Good enough. This is a new table and I haven't gotten chairs at the appropriate height for it yet. So I'm a little, I'm a little hunched over right now, but we're going with it. Oh, I forgot to turn off the camera.